Okay, so hi there, Capricorn, Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. This is your July 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, for the month of July, I'm doing things a little bit of differently, wherein I just check in with the energy in place within the month of July so we know how we can navigate the month of July, whether it may be positive, negative, neutral, whatever it may be. This is just, you know, focusing on the energy so we know how to proceed or um, so that, you know, it might make, make sense one way or another. So it's going to be a very, very quick reading and brief, straight to the point. So I won't waste any of your time. I do apologize for the late uploads though, since I do have some issues with my mouth right now. I cannot really speak properly or in a way that I usually do. So I do apologize for that. It's still even hard to speak even at this time, but I'm trying just to so I can finish the rest of the readings. So um, yeah, let's try to check in what's going on for Capricorns now. The first thing that I've noticed here is we have the Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles or all together. And the twos are all about two things and it could be a situation wherein maybe you're planning for an adventure, maybe you're waiting on something, or maybe this is about a decision that you are maybe wanting to do or wanting to undertake. Maybe a major decision is going to be in your plate or you are at the point of your life wherein you don't know how to handle two things. It may be that you are coming to a decision to let go of one thing and and focus on another so it's like choosing between a and b and when it comes to a relationship maybe <laughs> this is a situ situation wherein you have to make a choice about the relationship situation or between two partners involved of those kinds of things maybe this is a situation wherein someone wants to to be a lot more free because this is a very young energy and very vibrant and this is also the card of message i i would say though because we do have um some the ring here the dog and the, the bear card all together in the future position it's making me feel as if this is you know someone maybe wanting to make a very solid Rela relationship commitment with someone like making it a lot more stronger than before so this could be a choice being made to commit or recommit themselves with that specific person this can also be a situation wherein there are problems in the relationship and they need to get they need to get resolved one way or another um through some form of communication, recommunication is also possible. It can also be a time wherein you might, you know, some people, some Capricorn, whether it's your sun, moon, or rising sign, might find themselves um, in a rut wherein they cannot make a decision, like they don't know if, if there is even any point in the relationship. Should they even continue this relationship? Is it is it becoming a burden? Is it something that they still enjoy or they still want? So these are the things that are coming into place. And I kind of feel that there is also a situation here wherein um, before you, you're you not really... Um, it's like it is a, a situation wherein you were in a relationship or maybe you were in a situation wherein you're not taking everything very seriously you're not really taking into consideration what the other person is feeling or what you are even feeling or are you just being in a relationship because you want to be in a relationship for the heck of it but i kind of feel that you are now coming to a point of maturity especially we do have the lily over here at the middle card of the reading and with the mountains and fox here, you know, some form of, uh, I kind of feel whatever change or situation that you are dealing with right now, it's not something that's easily 
um, to be changed or can be changed it's like a major decision is being upheld here or at the very least you are at the verge of making that major decision and you're not making decision based on your on on another person part of it is also for yourself you know you're checking in on what you're truly feeling and you know it's not just all about practical matters anymore i feel so um yeah i kind of feel that this could be a month we're in not much progress can be seen but a lot of internal work is happening here we're in um your emotions is being mixed with your mental fortitude that kind of energy our advice card he over here is that we have the children card and we spend more time outdoors energy we're in maybe um this is about you needing to find fun and happiness once again and maybe you know maybe you have been isolating yourself a, a little bit too much or you're being very rigid and it's time for you to change your outlook and decisions with your relationships and in life i kind of feel that you know um any relationship that is very much very serious and very calculating during this time is going to be coming to a point of um reconsideration i feel where in you need to check in what makes you happy at the end of the day especially if you are in a partnership wherein you might be feeling alone like this tower and the mirror by the dog cards like you are in a relationship but it makes you feel alone because remember the tower card gives a very single type of energy we're in you are in a relationship but maybe you feel single or maybe it's n it doesn't sound like a relationship at all and you're not in you're now moving into a place where in you wanted to to be in a solid communication solid type of commitment solid type of relationship so yeah. i would say that it has a form of improvement in the air but it takes serious decision making and conviction within yourself to change something in the relationship remember um the two of wands and the two of pentacles are really the cards of um they're not exactly doing anything one is waiting one is managing two things at the same time but it, it they are not really taking in taking in any new decisive action there's nothing new in that energy they are just you know preserving the situation and, and prolonging things and this is the time wherein you are maybe and probably going to be in a decision wherein you need to change something you need to make something solid something more concrete and what is now old enough whatever situation is wherein there is no progress being made these are the things that you need to make a decision of and to resolve certain problem whether you know you need to complete a cycle you need to complete something whether to complete a relationship maybe the karma has been resolved and you need to open yourself to something new someone new all those kinds of energies there is some form of you know needing for fresh energy going on over here so for now i would say that the best advice here is that you know you need to focus on yourself on what you truly feel and are you happy with your life right now overall you know not just in your relationship but you as an individual are you happy or do you think that the partner that you have is the one that can validate that because those are two different things and no matter what we really do we cannot find someone to be the reason of our happiness because eventually that is really going to be eating us one way or another so that is really something to be thinking about very very seriously for a lot of capricorns out there so um yeah this is my reading for you guys and i hope to speak with you again soon next month and hopefully my 
my voice will be able to be better by that time and um yeah thank you for your patience and all of that i'll see you guys again next month